everybody, this is Nick Heavily with Reptilinks. How's everybody doing? We want to do a quick segment on a very crucial part of what we do, and that is getting everyone correctly size matched. So a lot of people come to us, they come to order products through our website, and they're unfamiliar with what sizes uh, we have available to the public for you guys, especially in relation to rodents, because that's what a lot of snake, reptile keepers uh, feed their animals. So we want to go over the quick uh, basic sizes of the products that we make and uh, essentially give you a better understanding of size comparisons so that you can order correctly. Um, one thing that's special about Reptilinks and the business that we've created here is we can portion things smaller than just about anybody else on the market. So we do offer a lot of different products that other people don't offer anywhere in the world. Um, one of our super popular uh, products would be the Micros. So these are a different system than the Tide casings, which we will get to in a minute. Um, and they're the smallest product that we make. These in particular are actually frog. So these are very popular for a lot of hog nose uh, keepers and may, many other species will take these. Some of the garter snakes, um, even some of the insular boas, you name it. These can be used for a lot of different things. But they are frog, so they replicate more closely the endemic diet of a lot of the amphibian specialists eating snakes. So uh, this is the micro size and these are generally about a half gram. So they're going to be about roughly the size and weight of a very newborn pinky mouse. Uh, some people call them pinks or red hots or whatever. You're talking about a super tiny pinky mouse right when it's born. Um, they are probably about a quarter of an inch uh, in diameter roughly and then an inch long but these can be further portioned as well by cutting them with a knife when they're frozen they also are malleable once thawed out so if you have little tiny baby garter snakes or um, whatever it may be you can manipulate them further to meet your needs for the even the tiniest neonate or hatchling uh, snake species we sell so many of these because for one they're portioned you know exactly what you're going to get um, pretty much even though they're made by hand uh, each link is going to be roughly the same weight so when you order from reptilinks even our smallest portion item the micros here you're going to be getting uh, essentially the same size link in this 50 pack unit um, one of the great things is is that well, most of our products are whole prey. This is the only one that isn't. Um, this is made with bone-in bullfrog legs that are ground very finely, homogenized, mixed, and then they're portioned. Still, even though this is not whole prey, you're still getting that larger bone matter, more biodiversity into a small capsule that you can feed to a smaller animal. So it's gonna be a, a higher calorie intake um, and it's just going to be nutritionally more efficient than say a pinky mouse there's literally barely anything there's no connective tissue there's no bone in a newborn rodent so um, you can expect your animals to get a really good jump with these compared to pinky mice uh, also um, one of the great uh, perks to this is that you can mix and match which blends you would like in the same size from an animal that's at a later um, life stage. So you're looking at just a higher in general uh, nutritional value. This is an exception to the whole prey. Now in contrast, if we jump to another micro, this is iguana. Um, and I just grabbed it from the freezers just for, or the freezers for uh, a example for you guys, but this is literally whole iguana ground and it's portioned the same size. Um, but as, as far as for sizing, these are gonna be fed to your neonate, your little tiny hatchling snakes for the most part, or lizards, it all depends on what you're working with. Or one of our most popular is frog for baby hog nose. A lot of people try to impose a rodent diet on them and they just don't take it. 
Um, some do, but a lot don't. This is where these come in. A micro would be the perfect size for a newborn and to a three month old, depending on how much it's eating hog nose. So that's where you want to start. These are about half a gram. Um, they can range a little bit. On the package it says 0.5 to 1 grams here. Now, another whole prey item, and this is our next step up in sizing. This is the second largest, uh, or sorry, second smallest product we make, and we call them minis. So the first ones are micros, these are minis. Uh, these range from about one to two grams. So this would be the size comparatively to a larger pinky mouse. Uh, maybe something that came out a little bigger, or it has a day or two on it. Um, not as big as a fuzzy, but somewhere in between a newborn pinky and a pinky that's maybe a day or two old. Um, they are roughly the same length, sometimes a little bit shorter, and the diameter is mm, about twice what the micro is. So you're looking about something maybe close to a, a Sharpie marker, um, the handle part of it. Uh, I'm trying to think of something else to compare it to. Um, about as big around as a pencil, roughly. Again, uh, so these are rabbit, and these would be another example of our whole prey. Once you get above the minis, then you are going to be jumping up to our first tied link. And by tied, I mean these are handmade, and they're tied in a collagen casing. And this would be the 8 to 12 gram. If you order from us, they're gonna be at least eight grams each, and they could be as high as 12. Most will fall in the range of 10 grams. Now, if you're talking in terms of, which is pretty much the industry standard for feeding a lot of reptiles, you're feeding rodents. This would be the equivalent size and weight, roughly, of a hopper mouse. Now, once you get up to these size, you can start mixing and matching and you have uh, quite a few more options with which blends you would like to use. All the links that are made with these are whole prey except with the quail frog or frog quail mixture and that has the bone in bullfrog leg so it's not, it's, it's not completely whole prey but it's a mixture. Once you get up to this size then you can really start getting into um, growing your snake at a more rapid pace. Not to say that if you're feeding micro frog, which is just the bone in frog legs, these are also going to make your snake grow at an accelerated rate compared to just feeding baby pinky mice. 8 to 12 gram is the first tied link that we make. They're a little bit bigger than a Sharpie. Um, this is going to be somewhere in a uh, little bit above a fuzzy mouse and right around the diameter of most hopper mice. The next tied link from there would be a 16 to 20. And that's a bump up in the diameter of casing. And they're gonna be uh, about twice the diameter roughly. Roughly the same length, uh, but they are fatter. So that's gonna be, um, somewhere between a hopper weight mouse in size up to, you know, like uh, basically when they hit the next stage of, you know, being a weanling, that would be somewhere in there. So um, a lot of uh, customers for snakes might be feeding juvenile, hog knows these after their first year, something like that, you name it. There's so many different reptiles that we feed. If you're talking about our version of these with uh, fruits and veggies in them, this is a, a, a very popular size for um, not hatchling tegus, but as they go through their initial growth spurt, they're gonna be on something like this very quickly once they're on the eight to 12 grams. So 
I would say in the first three to six months, you'd be feeding something like a 16 to 20 gram. The next step up from the 16 to 20 would be the 25 gram. And this is a very popular size. It's the same size casing as the 16 to 20 in diameter, but it's just a little bit longer. And this would bring you to the equivalent, roughly the equivalent weight and size of a full grown adult mouse. Um, for again, I keep on jumping back to hog nose, but this would be the largest length that generally a hog nose would eat. Um, this is also when you're talking about fruits and veggie blends for the omnivorous lizards and things like this. We make uh, a ton of food for tagu people. Uh, we most definitely make one of the most reliable and user friendly and nutritious foods on the market for tegus. This would be something that as they get closer to that yearling size, where their body's about like this, they're getting in over two foot range, um, they'll start eating 25 gram links. Uh, now, if you're talking about um, some of our omnivorous blends, jumping back to the eight to 12s, um, that's gonna be we make a 25, 25, 50 blend, which is lean rabbit. It has insects included and it has reptile friendly greens. Um, this is the size that you're gonna be ordering for your bearded dragon or your blue tongue skink. Uh, that would be the 25, 25, 50, which includes insects, or you can do the 50, 50, which includes lean rabbit and just reptile friendly greens. The reason we don't add uh, fruits is because a lot of people do not want fruits for their adult bearded dragons. Uh, they might not want them for skinks either, like your BTS, your blue tongue skinks. It's really preference at that point. Um, but this is the only size that our 50-50, our 25, and our 25-25-50 come in. So it'd be roughly like feeding a small hopper mouse. Although much more easy to digest once that casing breaks, they get all the nutrients out of it and a lot of the digestive process has already been done. Uh, jumping up, we did the 16s, we did the 25s, and then you're going to be getting into uh, your 50 gram longs, which is like almost the size of a hot dog. Um, sometimes they're a little longer than this. You're talking about four or five inches, maybe six inches tops, and it is the same diameter as the 16 to 20 and 25. They're just longer. These work great for some of the larger snakes that have a, a smaller cranial kinesis where they can't expand their jaw as much, but they can swallow a longer prey. Or some people prefer these for a lot of omnivorous lizards like tegus as well. Monitor lizards, uh, it really just depends on the application. We do two versions of a 50 gram, and this would be getting up into the weight of, you know, a small rat or something like that. Um, you have to remember this is finely ground, however, so there's a lot more nutrients packed into this little vessel. Um, it is whole prey, so um, you're basically getting a, a real kind of super food uh, vessel going on here. Now, uh, this is a 50 gram long, this is a 50 gram short. They obviously both weigh the same, but they're shaped differently depending on the animals that you're feeding. A lot of that has to do with the application and, and preference as well. You could feed some of your sub adult or adult tagus a 50 gram short, no problem. You could feed them a 50 gram long. If they tend to thrash around and play with their food, then you might want to stay away from a long and go with a short where they have to gulp it down right away. Uh, a lot of colored species are fed the 50 gram short and the 50 gram long. Just depends on their exact size. Okay, so jumping from the 50 gram short, then you can do a 75. That's our next step up. This is 75 grams, so it'd just be like feeding a larger rat or, you know, if you're doing equivalent in rodents. Um, they're a little bit longer, same diameter. So it all depends on what you want your portioning to be. Some people prefer, for instance, to feed a tagu a lot at one time in one vessel, or they might want to feed multiples throughout the day. Uh, it's really dependent on uh, what you're feeding. So you have uh, quite a few different options. 
same diameter, um, 50 grams short on the bottom, 75 on top. It's just like adding one of those 25 gram portions to it. Now, from the 75, and we, we start with the micros and minis, those are our smallest. This is the largest that we make right now, and this would be 100 grams. So this um, is the largest tide link that we make. That we are working on some prototypes for some larger um, products, but that's going to be a little bit longer before we release those for some of the larger constrictors, some of the harder hitting uh, constrictors, or maybe some of the larger varanid species, uh, like your crocodile monitors, um, maybe in some of your sabs, your, your savanna monitors, um, your water monitors, your coming eye, whatever it is. Um, you have options on how much you want to portion at one time um, But these do hold a lot of calories. They hold a lot of nutrition So if you're feeding some of your larger animals um, it, They could be obligate carnivores or they could be omnivorous because we do offer them with just meat uh, And fruits and veggies included as an option um, some people may prefer to feed a full-grown male black and white Argentine Tegu 100 gram link. They're only going to need one or two of these every couple, two, three days. Uh, one thing I wanted to stress is you don't want to overfeed these products. A lot of people, when they order uh, initially, say, where's all the food? Because of the way we package it so efficiently and the grinding process, it fits so much into this small capsule. It's hard to believe that this holds probably nearly twice as much nutrients as a large rat would and it's probably half the weight and probably a quarter of the bulk that brings me to another perk of the product is that you can store it very efficiently in your freezer if you are struggling for freezer space so this is a the biggest link we make it's a hundred gram link and the diameter is the same as the 75 it's the same as the 50 gram short, it's just longer. And for reference again, I will put a 50 gram short up there. So 50 gram on top, that's a 50 gram short. Remember we make it the long, a 75, and the largest is the 100 gram. One of the reasons we want to make this video is we want to get our new customers off on the right foot. The only way to do that is to make sure that you're feeding your animals the appropriate size prey item for the size animal that you're attempting to feed. Obviously, if you try to feed this to a snake or a lizard that's much too small, they're not going to recognize it as a food source. If you go on the other end of that spectrum, uh, say you're trying to feed this to a uh, you know, a two month old tegu, I mean, what the heck are they gonna do with it, right? They're gonna tear it up. Um, they might just be about the right size to um, take down an eight to 12 gram, but you get the idea. If you're transitioning most commonly kept reptiles from a rodent-based diet, it's very important that your size match correctly. Before you order, uh, you know, absolutely videos like this help, but we are here just about 24 seven doing customer service to make sure that your initial order is matched up with whatever application you are working on. Uh, I think that about covers it for a little um, tutorial on size matching and a few of the options that we have here at Reptilinks for you. And like always, we're creating new portions, we're creating new products, and we're always innovating. Thanks again, guys. Until next time, this is Reptilinks. Have a good one.